Let's see, it was up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, right? Jumanji, the sequel to the sequel, or as we're calling it, the next level. The team of players is back for a brand new adventure in Jumanji, and this time they're traversing deserts and snow-capped mountains in an effort to save Jumanji from the bad guy. All the original characters from Welcome to the Jungle are back. We have Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan, Alex Wolfe, Morgan Turner, Madison Iceman, Sir Darius Black, and Nick Jonas. But we also get some new additions with Danny DeVito, Danny Glover, Aquafina and Rory McCann. This sequel is still a lot of fun, especially when you take into account the Dannys, Danny DeVito and Danny Glover, because there is a lot of material there that you can use to play up the older generation being stuck in a video game. I mean, talk about fish out of water, right? But sometimes it was overplayed just a little bit and it made some of the jokes feel just a bit tired because they kept revisiting them over and over again. It was funny, that they are old and you get to play up a lot of that fact inside a video game and that they don't necessarily know what's going on or that, hey, look, I can do all of these things. Any of that, it's funny and it's great, but repeated over and over again, it does begin to just wane some. The Rock, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, and Karen Gillan do amazing jobs at playing their real world counterparts stuck in these avatars. And I really like that it's not just Jack Black that gets to steal the spotlight. I mean, if you remember in the first one, he's playing Bethany. So he is playing a teenage girl and Jack Black stole the show at doing that. Jack Black got to just have a ton of fun with it. Well, in this one, he's not the only one that gets to have a lot of fun. All of the characters get to just play with it the way that they have built up the story. And they do a really good job of playing they're out of game characters. Just like in Welcome to the Jungle, our villain is not totally fleshed out. And that's okay because they're not the main focus of the film. Sure, the players need to defeat the new boss in order to save Jumanji from destruction or just from evil taking over, but the whole impetus for them being in the game in the first place is not the boss and not this new villain. There is a lot of fun action in this, especially because of all the new locales that they go to. And there are some fairly tense moments, especially when you take into account that they each only have three lives. Now there are a few recycled bits and jokes, but it's okay because they're used to show the difference between the noobs and our experienced players. And they're not overused, so you do get some genuine laughs and chuckles out of it. And while Welcome to the Jungle almost immediately launched us into the game, I mean, we got a little bit of character development, but we were pretty much just boom, right into the game. This one takes a little bit more time before getting there. It provides us some more background on some of the characters, and I think that was a good thing. I think it helped to develop the story a little bit more because we already get what Jumanji is. We don't have to rush right in to get inside the video game. We can explore a little bit outside first. The movie is two hours and three minutes long, and if anything, I feel that it was a little rushed. And that's weird to say, but at least it didn't drag. I think part of that feeling rushed is because it was almost non-stop action, that there was so much going on and going on. We do get brief moments where we do get to take our breath for a second, pause just a little bit, and then right back into the action. But for the most part, it was high energy and fast moving. Now, I was going to say that the standouts of this film are the Dannys, Danny DeVito and Danny Glover. But really, it's their avatars playing those two that are the standouts because they captured them so well. And it just, it was a joy to watch. And it felt like we were watching Danny Glover and Danny DeVito, even though they were in totally different bodies. Now there was a bit at the very beginning where Danny DeVito's avatar felt like he was trying just a little too much just to capture who Danny DeVito was. But luckily that went away. I didn't feel it after that. And so I really ended up enjoying the Avatar's performance. This one feels like it has a more grown up feel to it, or at least that it's trying to be that way. There's more profanity in this one than I remember being in Welcome to the Jungle. 
Now, it's not to say that it's not family friendly. It is. I just noticed more of the profanity this time. The next level comes from the same director that did Welcome to the Jungle. And I like that because the charm and the energy and just the look and the feel, all of that is still retained. I'm really excited to see this again because it was so much fun. There's also a mid credit scene that you're going to want to stick around for. There's no sex or nudity, but like I said, there is profanity and some video game violence. I mean, in the fight scenes, there's no blood, there's no guts, there's no gore. I give Jumanji the next level four and a half out of five couches. So did you see Welcome to the Jungle? Are you looking forward to the next level? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching me.